guys, the Merry Gamer here, and welcome back to a new season of Planet Base. We're up to our third season and onto the third planet of this series, and I am excited to get going. I've already actually loaded up a game and had a little teaser play around for a bit. I deleted it, and now I'm going to have a go at it. Um, I wanted to see kind of like the difficulty difference, and it is a bit of a step up. It is much harder to start this game. Um, once again, it gets harder and harder, so we're gonna go hit new game. As you can see, I did one, um, uh, one of the achievements, which was self-sufficiency. Um, but yeah, this Class M planet is not easy. It's, um, oh, we'll have a look. So, as you can see, it's a moon of a gas giant who's with no atmosphere, which leaves it very exposed to meteors and solar flares and unable to support wind turbines. So, no wind turbines whatsoever. So, the complete opposite once again from last season so as it says characteristics light amount is very high so solar panels operate at full capacity which is good so solar is going to be our f our main source of power uh, atmosphere density is none so you cannot use any wind turbines there's no wind on this planet um, solar flare risk is very high meteor risk is also high um, we're just going to keep it as base m32 and hopefully um, we get a nice location. I'm trying to, if we pop us maybe there, it might be nice and open. We're going to have a little test and see, um, what we get. So if we go start game, hopefully we get a nice location, nice open location. So let's land down and let's assess what the area looks like. And hopefully we can get a big base. Um, there's no real pausing in this game, so we kind of can't screw around too much. Um, so I just would like to uh, have a quick peek at what we got. But as you can see, not many people come off here. We got two workers, we got one biologist, one engineer, one medic. That's all we get, and we get one carrier bot. No constructor bot this time either. So what I want to do is I want to just quickly look around. So this seems to be pretty open. Already a meteorite smashing. We can build out here. Um, this seems to be the wall. We can still build out here as well um i think we are pretty open we're along the wall here all in here is buildable um not actually all of it only up to here uh, much smaller base area um, i'm along the wall but all this is open i think what we really want is all of this to be open so um, much much smaller map by the looks of it um getting 300 population here might be uh, proved difficult. Um, all up here is open, which is good, but we need a good place for power. Power probably is going to get chucked up over in this location over here. So we're not going to have many um, people in that. But anyway, we're just going to get started with the base because you can't screw around too long with this. Hopefully, we don't um, waste too much time. So we're, what we're going to do, we're just going to put this right next to it for now. I am not going to worry too much. We're going to keep everything very small. Uh, we're not going to do the big builds or anything like that. Uh, we want them to build that. Then we also need to get some solar panels going. So I'm going to get a solar panel uh, over here. Um, and that can connect there. But then we also need to get um, a water extractor. And we're going to chuck a water extractor over here and connect that here. Um, we also then need to get a power collector and I'm actually going to build a medium one next to it um, as well um, just to make it so we can actually store a bit of power. Um, this needs all well, that they're building these stuff pretty quickly which is good. Uh, all this is very very close which is what we need. Um, we can't go too far out. We can go a bit out this way so we can maybe have power lingering out here. Um, going to be all solar panels, so we don't have to worry about having to have multiple solar panels. It looks like it's not going to be a big base at all. We don't have much room to kind of maneuver around here. Very cratery and bumpy and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to prove to be an issue. Make these priority, uh, definitely, because they are what we need to survive. Um, straight away, I want to get a, uh, not a, ca uh, yeah, you need to do, you need to do a canteen because you need to be able to get them to drink water. So, um, what is that? That is a stupid message up there, go away. Uh, that's just my hard drive disconnecting for some reason. So that can go there. This guy is gonna get up and going. How are our people looking? Um, power and everything's going well. How is iron? 
we're just doing okay-ish. Um, I probably should have done a bigger water. Um, this requires only one water. This only produces um, water generation four or so, and the grid is consuming one. So yeah, we're gonna have to be a bit careful. Um, this is all getting oxygen now, and we get more power. Um, I would like to get um, another power generator going, but before we do that, we need to get this built because this is allow our people to drink water. Um, we need to probably build another solar panel right here. Um, only doing little ones for now. I'm not going to rush them whatsoever. Uh, they can do that. Then I, what I'd like to also do is then we need to get a bio lab going. So um, we can make some food. We're just going to keep it all very small just so that's there. And then we can also get a dorm as well. Um, let's hit this into fast forward because I want these things to be the things that are built first. Um, they're going to do that. How are we doing for iron? We're doing reasonably okay. He's going to do that. Um, this is not straight, so let's um, get that biodome a bit more straight for us. Um, oxygen levels are low. That's because we just connected a new one. That's okay. Um, we need to go here and go um, a dorm right here. So let's do that. So then they have a place to sleep. What I need to do as well is I need to put water in here. I would like to put a table and a food generator in there. Um, let's drop down these speeds because it's getting me a bit worried because we've got a bit of power, but not too much. So we don't want these guys stranded too much outside. I would like um, all of them to go indoors, but... <sighs> I don't think so that's going to happen. Power's very minimal, like um, it's not a massive base, which is good. Um, these guys can survive, but yeah, it's, it's such a hard start, this game. It just gets harder and harder. I feel like we might be, <coughs> hopefully, stable. I don't think we are 100% yet. Uh, this is my biggest worry, is the power. We got the power storage, which is good. Um, Let's have a look at this. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, sorry, time. So, uh, uh, we're going to struggle with um, probably this night. I would like to get them to stop building that and everyone to then go inside. Since that's built, everyone will go inside, hopefully, and then just the engineer will come out and build that. And then if the power goes out, at least everyone's inside with the oxygen and hopefully the water as well. I need to get that engineer wherever he is. Um, he's here at the moment. Uh, he's going back out. I would like him to come and build this really first, but um, we're running out of power very quickly. Um, he will build that, hopefully. And power storage is low. I just need to get him to get inside for me. If he can get inside before the power goes, then, no, he's back out here back out there because they're all going to go get food and oof, this is going to be a close call close close call and my dog has just walked into my room <laughs> did not close my door um yeah so what we're going to do here is um we need to watch the power here because this is going to get low i just need that engineer to get inside they're all going in which is good um Yeah, so what we need to do, see they're all in, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, so the power's gonna go out, but that's okay, they're all inside, at least they're all inside, so none of them can die of no oxygen outside at least. So how's this day? We're almost gonna get some power. We probably need to get them to build another power storage. Um, I probably should have got a probably bigger table. Um, but we can actually go here and tell him to build a bigger table there. He's now built the drink table, which is good. He's now built the food. 
is now doing that. He's getting everything that we needed built, so at least now they can kind of survive. Um, we've got five people, so let's just put in three bunks, because that's all we need, if all five are going to sleep at the same time. <coughs> We're having power issues, that's okay. We have our stupid medic decided to walk outside. Um, let's hit this into fast forward, because when that sun comes out, he should hopefully go okay. Oxygen's doing okay. These Some of these guys are struggling for water um, a bit, which is a bit of a worry. I don't know why they haven't drunk water yet. Um, power has come back online. The base is now in operation and we're safe for another day. Um, I wouldn't mind actually putting in another water if I could. Um, maybe go here and maybe yeah maybe just do two there for now because that worries me that they're a bit ignorant not to they're still ignorant that they're not drinking yet um that worries me a lot that they're not drinking yet. i know they're not like dangerously low but okay survival has been reached so we have been able to survive one day after landing your people are still alive that is good to see we've had a good start i probably need to get more power storage going and more solar panels to go so there um it's good because this actually the, the base isn't using as much power so we can actually get full power i think um this wasn't full overnight so that's good um, we'll get them to build all that, but they're going to run out of food pretty quickly. So the two things I need to get them to build, and I still didn't build this straight. How did I not build that straight? That's really, uh, really frustrating. <laughs> um, all right. So that being said, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to get a biodome and we're going to get a biodome going out this way. And there we go, so we got by. It's okay, because this we really can't you can't really do anything on this side. Um, <coughs> so we get a biodime going there. And then what I would like to do, how are we doing for metals? Um, we need to get a mine. We need to actually we need to get a landing platform. That is what I need to do. I need to get this. So pretty much where this thing is is where I want it to be. Um, but I don't want to do it just yet. Um, this guy's okay for storage, um, they've planted all that stuff there, what I do need to do is I do want to get, um, I do want that landing pad, um, so I'm not going to be happy where I place it, but we're just going to have to place it, um, just because, yeah, we, you need this to survive, so that takes four metal already, that's going to be one, two, three, four, and then you still got three left um, where we can probably build another solar panel, which is what I want to see. So if we do that, we can do another solar panel and then we can, um, I want these two as priority, please. I need to also recycle that. So now how much metal did I have? Now it gave me quite a lot, it gave me 23, which is good because um, I need to build a mine as well. Um, these guys are going to be very busy over the next few minutes um, because I need them to push hard to actually get some of the shit done. Um, so that's going to get done there. We also need to get them to build a um, storage facility. Uh, storage. Um, and I want storage to probably go... I was thinking in here. There we go. We can link that to go here and here. Uh, just because we need storage. Um, now let's lower this speed because now these are the priority. <coughs> um, these two. Because um, now we're starting to get down to night time. But power, we probably should have built another power storage. Um, that would have been nice. Uh, but that's okay. Because now what I can do is I can ask for this and we can ask for traders, we can ask for colonists, and I need engineer. I want engineer and, or a biologist. They're the two things I'm looking for because we've only got one of each, I believe. Uh, let's check the stats here. Yeah, we've got one and one, one and two. So we need 
we need um, we need these guys pretty fast. So, and the one thing I'm going to do this season as well is I'm not going to overdo the dorms how I've done last season. Um, or like the, yeah, the dorms, not the cabin. Uh, no, sorry, cabins. These are dorms. Uh, I'm not going to overdo that last time. Like last time I did, um, I made sure there's always like 300 beds. I think this time I'm going to make sure, ah, there we go. Colonists are already sweet. Um, I'm going to probably make sure there's about 150, about half, because not everyone's sleeping at the same time. So, um, but we're going to plan the base out really well, hopefully. And yes, we got one of each, which is what I wanted. An expansion has been reached. We've hit two big prime um, uh, achievements in this one. We haven't got the self-sufficient yet. Um, we just need to d build um, the mine and the processing plant, and then we will be self-sufficient. So that's what I'm aiming for, hopefully to get this episode, so then at least we're all um, sufficient enough to survive, I guess is the key thing. Um, so how's this guy doing? He's not, yeah, he's not going down that fast. So we're, we're surviving, we're just surviving, which is what I like to see. Um, these two things, I need to go here, and we're gonna go and build, um, what grows fast? Fast production and starchy. So let's get some rice. Let's get um, some tomato. So it's fast production. Um, I want two starchy things. So um, fast production and starchy. That's um, slow production and low starch. This is fast production, very starchy. So we keep starchy this side. And then let's get. Um, Maybe do like onions or something. So it's like a bit of a mix. So they got there, we got the biologists, they can at least make food for these people. I'm not gonna get the population up too high. We're at seven, so we can take two, four, six. I probably, probably wanna get us up to 10. Um, I would like to get another medic in here as well. So we'll probably aim to get another biologist and engineer and then get another um, medic uh, just so we have two. Um, this is our storage base, so they're going to slowly move all this stuff in there so it doesn't decay for us. Uh, what I need to do now is we need to get um, a mine going. So let's go here, here, and let's get a mine, and let's build the mine maybe like right here, right off here. And we can just connect the two. So that's two, that's three. So then we've only got six left. Um, and then if we go processing plant, that's two. So if we do processing plant here, so then that's six gone. And then you still have three left and then you can place your two plants and then we are fully self-sufficient in this episode, which is what I wanted. I needed, I think this is probably, funny enough, our best start, even though it's probably, um, as well as our hardest start, um, due to the map difficulty, but no, we've, um, We've managed quite well. We want production always to be high, high in the food area because we need food. Um, we want these guys. We need to also get medical bays going soon as well just so these guys can be um, healthy. We want uh, the workers working in there, but um, we should be good for now. So now that's there. Let's drop this down. How is the power looking? It goes down much faster so we're going to need to build more power collectors to survive night times um and i want to get one metal work and one plastic in there so then we've got at least self-sufficiency and everything we've only got a few bit of plastic left um i need to get another bed in here because we can go two four six i want to go eight and ten because then um, I can get my base up to 10. This only makes a few. Here we go. This is what I was after. So let, hopefully we get a 50-50 split again like last time. And then I can go for the medic. We only got the engineer this time. So that's okay. So now what we can do is I will um, raise in the medic for 50. And then raise in the biologist for 50. And um, no, I don't want five there. I want five to go there. So then 50 or 50. So there we go. And then that could be a decent balance. Um, then we've got eight. And then, yeah, pretty much we can then survive relatively well. I'll be happy with that. The sun's coming back out. 
We've hit self-sufficiency as well. So, bam, there we go. We got that other extra achievement that I already had got when I was fiddling around. And we've pretty much hit the end of the episode. I feel like this has been a really successful first episode. I think it's because we're just getting better at the game at like knowing what we need to make and do. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. So, as usual, thank you all for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, see you later, guys.